Well, uh, I need to write something on the board before I get started. I won't do a lot of this, but uh, <clears throat> uh, actually, I'll make it T. I expect you all, of course, to understand exactly what that's saying. Uh, and uh, you're under fire. Uh, it's grade school. Uh, you're supposed to have a good time. Something's supposed to be funny. Uh, uh, <laughs> and, and yeah, I'd love to have my, my uh, rocket uh, back again. Uh, it's, it's called a stomp rocket. Uh, I defy you to find a group of kids who won't love you know, Stomp Rocket. Uh, and uh, the, the, question, the question I would ask uh, of you, uh, of course, is uh, what's, what's the scribbling on the blackboard got to do with my Stomp Rocket? Does anybody want to respond to that? Uh, close. Yes? Uh, yeah, we want to know. The, the question I a am asking the kids at the end of uh, the, when they're seventh graders, eighth graders, uh, finished my preparation is when I stomp on it and it goes up, uh, how fast is it going after the first second, after the second second? When is it actually stopping? Uh, so picture not a room with air. Uh, moving around in it, but a vacuum tube. So you're really just looking at what gravity does. Uh, and you fire it right straight up. When's it going to stop? Uh, when's it going to come down? What's its speed at every point? Uh, that's the, the kind of question uh, that I am having the, my children do. Uh, I've, I've had a group, uh, they are now uh, between freshman, sophomore years, uh, junior years, uh, from the Salisbury Elementary School. Uh, I got five kids, third grade, fourth grade, uh, and uh, now all of a sudden they're in engineering schools and uh, uh, National Merit Scholar and so forth. The National Merit Scholar, by the way, is smart. It doesn't have anything to do with me, uh, but it was fun having her to play my games. Uh, and. Uh, so uh, I want you to see where, where the objective is. Uh, I'd like to have the kids, uh, before they go to high school, uh, uh, have a significant contact with uh, what Newton produced uh, and Leibniz. Uh, what, what is that? Uh, so my, my focus uh, is very narrow. Uh, there are lots of things. Uh, that you could teach uh, in algebra, uh, but it's, it's not all that you're going to be able to teach. And so uh, I, I, I have a couple of people that you should know. How many of you have ever heard of, um, well, Peter Drucker, you know. Uh, he has a little pamphlet. The little pamphlet points out there are five ways you learn things. How do you know stuff? What's your process of learning? Help? I don't know how to learn anything. You see it. You see it. That's one thing, isn't it? You see it. What else? Is that the only way? Ask questions. Ask questions. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, that's seeing it, though, isn't it? Uh, ask questions. Yeah, I like it. Uh, keep, uh, what I like to, so what I say to my kids now is I don't care whether your answer is right or wrong. I don't care how you answer it. What I want to hear is how you argue it. Where, where are you, how are you getting from here to there? Let's look at that. Uh, so I want to take the threat out of your failing. Right? Uh, you, you can't fail with me. You, you just can say I won't argue it, and I'll be disappointed. OK, we can see it. What else? Don't hear it. You can hear it, can't you? You hear it uh, you, if you're paying attention. Pay attention. Uh, you can hear it. Am I learning by speaking it? Yeah. Yeah. 
right? So, so speaking is a way. So let me see what we've got. Uh, I'm going to see it. What else can I do? How about, hmm? Touch it. Touch, Touch it. it. Good. Okay. So uh, that brings up the, the uh, uh, objects that I use to teach arithmetic. Uh, you find in most of the public school books, uh, they have uh, pie charts and uh, sometimes they have the rods, uh, Cuisinier rods, but uh, then they change to something else, then they change to something else, and then they change to something else. I find myself getting confused. Uh, so what I've tried to do is to create an arithmetic book in which almost everything, I can't say everything, but almost everything is done uh, by showing uh, how to do it with the rods. Uh, and a favorite game is, come down here please, uh, put your hands behind your back. I'm going to put two rods in your hand. Tell me what color they are. All right? So what they begin to get the sense of is that some length is connected to a color. Uh, and then they say, 2 plus 3 is 5. I don't believe you. Show me. Well, uh, how can you show me? You can take a red rod, which is 2, and a green rod, which is 3, and you can put a, make a train out of it, and then you can show that that train's the same length as a yellow rod, which is five. All right, so I, give, I try to give the kids, uh, first graders, sixth graders, whatever, give them uh, tools whereby they can argue that two plus three is five. Now, the neat thing about this, let's see, did I, did I get all five things? Uh, you can hear it and you can say it, you can read it and write it, uh, and then you can move it around. These are the move it around items, all right? Um, so, so that's Peter Drucker. Anybody heard of Lev, Lev Vygotsky? How many people have heard of Lev Vygotsky? Yeah, uh, I, uh, he's Russian, right? Um, and he died the year I was born or something like that. So no uh, uh, personal contact. But significant it was his comparison of you and me with uh, gorillas and chimpanzees and other primates. And some people th have thought back when he was doing the research, it, are, uh, are we using tools and the primates are not? But it turns out maybe our tools are different, but they know if they want a banana on the other side of the fence, what do they do? They get a stick and scoop it over. So uh, it's not the difference there. But what don't uh, we, uh, what does uh, Vygotsky believe we, we have, they don't, it's a sense of time. Uh, and so what I'm trying to do with my kids is get them to learn something and then as soon as they learn it, move it on so they use it to learn something else. Uh, so the, the, we can say, uh, well, I, I, I'm going to Sweden next month, uh, well, or next year. Now I can take three courses in Sweden, Swedish, and start learning for it. That's going to happen in several months from now or uh, several years from now or something like that. That's not a chimpanzee level thought. So I'm looking at kids from their very primary capacities. What can they do? They have a sense of progression in time. Uh, and so the, the, the notion uh, that uh, I'm emphasizing is uh, that uh, they get excited because they learn one thing and they find that that leads them to be able to do another thing, which leads them to be able to do yet another thing. Uh, and and I'll tell you, the rewards are amazing, even though I don't get paid for what I do at the Boys and Girls Club. Uh, was, uh, yeah, last, last week, I had two little fourth grade girls, and they, uh, they had, a, really had a great time. Uh, they get very excited, jump up, run around, then come sit down again. Uh, and I said, well, I'll, I'll sort of put these things back together again, uh, and you can uh, go ahead. And I found them uh, holding me, hugging me. Now, you know, they're not my children, or they're all my children, one way or the other. Uh, so I feel uh, that what's, what I'm doing 
is building them up to the point where they can understand that equation, uh, differentiate it, and know that the y prime is equal to uh, minus uh, 32t plus 40, and y double prime is this. What's the acceleration? Uh, what's the velocity? Tell me about those things. Uh, and it's, uh, uh, so many of the previous talkers have, have mentioned uh, the, the uh, graphics, uh, just very important. Uh, what's the difference of two squares? What's x squared minus 9, for instance? Well, I say that it's got a side x and a side x, and I cut a corner out, and it's 3 and 3, and you cut that out, what have you got? Well, you've got x. Actually, I shouldn't use x. I should use uh, uh, 15 or something like that. 15 and 15 here. And what have we got? 15 minus 3 is going to be 12. And 15 minus this 3 is going to be 12. And so I can take this piece and move it around here. Uh, and I've got something that's 15 uh, plus 3 and 15 minus 3. And in order to use uh, your modern calculators, which a lot of people are desperate to get you to do, uh, is to uh, key things in. But the TI 81s, 89s, and so forth, you have to be able to use parentheses if you want to uh, get the calculations to done, be done in separate order. So parentheses are a big deal. Uh, and I believe multiplication and fractions can be taught in first grade second grade, uh, and, I don't, and I don't think we are treating our strongest students the way they deserve to be treated. Thank you for your patience. Thank you very much. We have time for a few questions, so again, raise your hands. Well, I'm glad it's so clear. So, so let me uh, <laughs> use my uh, moderator prerogative here. Where do you teach? Uh, in the afternoons in the Boys and Girls Club, uh, I, I actually uh, uh, taught at Phillips Academy in Andover, Massachusetts for 30 years in the math department. Uh, and uh, so uh, it was after four years of retirement, I got sick to death of it uh, and uh, had Salisbury uh, Elementary School provide me with three, five bright kids. Uh, and uh, how about two to the fifth? Anybody want to tell me what's two to the fifth? I don't hear a lot of response there. I had a fourth grader say 32, just like that. And that was the first time that I said, holy smokes, what have I missed? What's going on? Uh, most people say it's 2 times 5 for 10, which of course is not. Uh, so uh, we have got a lot of smart kids, even in very uh, poverty-stricken or low-income areas who can learn a huge amount, and we're not making use of the brain power they've got. Hello. I think what you're doing is great. And I wonder what you think would be a way for schools to improve their math programs, either through teachers uh, or how they do things. You suggested that maybe students learn earlier, multiplication, and things like that. Well, uh, first of all, uh, the, my book is written, uh, the, the, the subtitle, I think it's in your literature, isn't it? The, uh, the uh, Mentors, Arithmetic Patterns for Elementary Students, but it's for the mentors, for the teachers. Uh, uh, to be gross about it, you can pay me uh, that for, for uh, doing workshops. And I've done workshops, and, and you can read the comments for about, uh, from teachers uh, in, on the cover of my book or inside my book. Uh, I did for 12 years with, for the college board uh, run AP calculus and AP computer science workshops. But that's, you know, I tell the kids when they get through eighth grade, you're beyond me. Uh, and uh, I, I stick to the lower, lower grades. So we have time for one more question. Both you and I are closer in age than either of us are close to age of a nine-year-old or whatever. Oh, so oh we well, thank you. That's very complimentary. <laughs> <laughs> so we learn math a different way. I mean, 
I didn't learn any of this stuff in, in, uh, in uh, exactly. elementary school. Exactly. So I have a little trouble with this because I, I never learned math until fourth grade, and my grandmother accidentally almost taught me algebra. Yeah, you know, yeah, and to yeah, write things yeah. down in syllables. To write things down in syllables. Yeah. Uh, or not in syllables, but you know. Yeah, letters and stuff. I, 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 sentences symbols. When it symbols were the sentences. Yes. And I became a mathematician after that. Whoa. <laughs> but, but this just, it's, it seems a whole different way to start. And yes, <laughs> yay, <laughs> the message uh, received. But I guess this, I'm wondering why this is a message that's better. In oh. other words, is it because of computers or? No, my, 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 uh, my introductory book here has no computing in it at all. I do will stick out TI and then a whole bunch of them. Uh, and occasionally let them calculate and see if parentheses right. are necessary right. to get the order of operations. Uh, but but uh, no, I, I'm a trying to appeal to the most human element that the Vygotsky is saying. These are things that every human has so I can build up uh, their sense of themselves. And if you see the excitement is built up in the kid, uh, they begin to believe they can learn and then you throw in what you want uh, because okay. they've had that experience. And I give them four ways of multiplying. You know Russian peasant multiplication? <laughs> I've never uh, well, heard Well, uh, uh, mul double and an add. That's all you have to know how to do. I appreciate Oh, well, thank you. I, thank you so pleasure. much. Let's give them a round of applause. Yeah. Thank, thank all of you.